I love Ruger stuff and uh, this is no exception. It's so customizable. All right, well, I'm actually pretty impressed with, uh, you know, that at 25. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Ruger PC Charger takedown in 9mm. So guys, first of all I'll show you what it comes with. Now, I've got the Glock adapter in this, so obviously it takes Glock magazines, but there is a standard uh, Ruger adapter which takes, um, you know, the Ruger magazine. So yeah, it just depends on what your preference is. We've got a uh, trigger lock. And we've got the user manual and then a whole heap of promotional gear and probably a sticker, yep, from Ruger there. Okay, so as you can see, she's all clear there. Now, there are a couple of little upgrades um, that have been done to, um, you know, this charger, which, you know, isn't standard from Ruger. So I'll run through a few of them and just give you an overall rundown, you know, obviously of this pistol. So... Uh, one of the big things was removing the hand grip at the front here. So just put a Picatinny rail there. So, um, you know, look, you can put a bipod on it if you want to shoot in like silhouette competitions at the range or whatever. There's various different grips and stuff that you can put on there. Also too, uh, on the barrel, um, the uh, muzzle brake is a custom muzzle brake here, okay? So look, it's um, up to you what you want to put on there really at the end of the day. Uh, if you don't want a muzzle brake on there, you don't need to have it. Um, if you want to put some other uh, brake on there, well, you've got that choice as well. The uh, hoe grip here is just a standard, you know, uh, AR grip. And I like Hogue, so for me, really straightforward, really basic, and, you know, I just like it. The trigger here is the Volkortsen uh, custom PC charger trigger, so obviously that's not standard. I uh, wish it was, but uh, no, it's certainly not. So I've also got an oversized mag release here, which is custom. And there's also a custom charging handle, you know, on the right hand side here. And on top, I've got the um, Aimpoint um, H1 micro red dot side. Okay, so look, it's not completely standard. And look, there's plenty of reviews that have got, you know, just the standard PC charger if you want to have a look at them. But this has just got a little bit more of a customized uh, feel to it. So it's got a uh, 7075 T6 alloy receiver. Uh, it's type three hard uh, coat anodized. We've got a CNC machined uh, handguard here with M lock, M lock, I'll get it right in a minute, <laughs> slots. So, you know, you can put uh, different Picatinny rails on there easily enough like I've done here. There's a glass filled uh, polymer chassis um, with a uh, flared magwell, okay, so like I say, the different adapters are fairly easy, you know, to exchange and put in depending on which, uh, you know, types of magazines that you want. But just from playing around with it, um, I've had no issues, you know, with just putting in empty mags and everything. It's, yeah, it's been fine. Now, the charging handle and the mag release uh, is reversible. So, you know, if you're left or right-handed, um, you know, you can change that to your preference there. The trigger being the Volkortz and trigger is really nice, 2.25 uh, uh, pounds, the trigger pull there. It's just a single stage trigger. So, you know, it's probably one of the coolest upgrades you could probably get straight off, you know, for your uh, charger. Now the barrel on it is cold hammer uh, forged steel and uh, it comes standard just with the thread protector. Like I said, you know, it's just a custom brake, you know, on that. The uh, 10 round magazine that it comes with is the Magpul, um, you know, Glock 10 round magazine. So, you know, I don't see that there should be any issues with them. I know some people have reported issues, but obviously if I have any, you guys will get to see it when we get out at the range. Overall weight, you're looking at about 5.2 pounds or 2.35 kilos. 
Um, the barrel on it, as I say, uh, cold hammer forged steel, it's uh, six and a half inches in length or 165 uh, millimeters. Uh, one and 10 inch twist and six grooves for nine millimeter there. Overall length of the charger is 16 and a half inches or 42 centimeters. Made in the USA, uh, price here in Australia, quite reasonable, uh, $1,295. So guys, I'm really excited to get this one out to the range because I am a bit of a Ruger fan. So let's get out there now and just see how this pistol goes. Okay, so we've got four different types of ammo to run through the charger. So we'll start off with the 150 grain Syntec ammo from Federal. Then we've got 147 grain jacketed hollow points from Winchester. Then we've got some of the 124 grain uh, Winchester defense ammo. And then last of all, we've got the 147 grain wind clean from Winchester. So we'll fire 10 rounds per group, and we're going to shoot at 25 yards here just to really test out the accuracy of the charger using the red dot, and we'll just have a uh, front support. All right, so we put a bipod on the front here, guys, um, just for a bit of fun. So we've got the target there at 25. Let's just see how we go. All right, well, I'm actually pretty impressed with, uh, you know, that at 25, you know, like I say, it's just a bipod on the front and there's no rear support. So very happy with the Federal ammo and also the Winchester Defence. The other 147 grain uh, wind clean and jacketed um, hollow points, yeah, not too bad, but definitely not as good as the Winchester Defence or the um, Federal uh, Syntec. So yeah, those two will definitely be my choice of ammos out of the PC charger. So mag loading is fairly easy. Just push down at the back and you can slide the rounds in easily enough, just like any Glock mag if you're used to using a Glock. It can get your fingers after a while in the sense of, you know, have a little bit of an impact and there are mag loaders that you can get to assist with that. But I just keep pushing on with it here.
Okay guys, it's gonna wrap up my final thoughts on the PC charger. I love Ruger stuff and uh, this is no exception. It's so customizable, um, just a hoot to shoot. It's just so much fun. I really enjoyed it, especially with the red dot on top. It just made for uh, good fun shooting. Even out there, like, you know, 25 meters, I was really happy with the accuracy there. If I had a rear rest as well, I mean, I'd be very interested to see what sort of accuracy I could obtain. But uh, overall, I just love the customization of this. You know, it's um, compatibility with obviously Glock mags, Ruger mags, you know, it's just awesome. You can get so many different mags for it. Um, there's a heap of aftermarket accessories and it's just a whole heap of fun to shoot. Um, I really don't have any complaints about it, guys. Um, there's nothing I can really complain about. A uh, few of you will be asking what I think of the Volkortsen and Trigger. Honestly, if you've used the Volkortsen 1022 Trigger, pretty much identical. Nice and lightweight, great short uh, reset. Um, just yeah a pleasure to use as well so yeah guys this is uh, just an awesome little bit of kit and uh, would be great for you know out there doing silhouette uh, competitions at the range and just a whole heap of fun in general all right we'll leave the review at that guys hope you enjoyed watching it so till next time we'll catch you then